Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my pink or mauve kind of lipstick collection and also declutter. I counted everything, I have 12 so I don't need 12 pink lipsticks so that's why I want to try to review and try them on my lips and then declutter some that I, I know I will not use and I don't need. So the first one I'm using is from Misha. So this is the My Pocket a lipstick in the shade. I'm not sure but I will post it which <laughs> shade is this but this shade is really a pretty pink color. I like how it looks on me. I have really dry lips now but I feel like it smoothened out my lips. It's really a pink, really a pretty pink color. I think I might use this today because it suits my makeup, I feel like. And yeah, it's just a pretty like um, light tone pink that I think I'm going to use more. I normally don't like pink shades, but I think because this is so pretty, I might wear this a, a lot this year. So yeah, this is the first shade. So this is shade number two from Misha. So this is the My Pocket version. So what I notice is um, it's not really, it, it's a bit not as opaque as the other version of this. I feel like the, the lower lip is, is a bit patchy. I don't like how it looks. And yeah, the color is really not for me i don't feel like it suits me it's dark maroonish kind of shade which i don't think i will ever use or i will ever want to use so i will declutter this because it's not really the color for me and the next one is number uh the essence this is me lipstick in shade number four crazy so i feel like this shade is really a uh, almost purple violet kind of shade with um with pink undertone but i feel like it's too dark pink for me normally this kind of color is really like yeah i don't know i feel like it darkens up my face it's not complementing my skin tone or my face at all so I will not definitely keep this so this it's really opaque I love the formula it glides smoothly it's also smooth and hydrating but the color I feel like it it just doesn't suit me at all so I don't think I'm gonna keep it and yeah we'll give this away this is just too like dark tone kind of pink for me that's why I don't like it. So, so the that. next shade is still from Essence. So this is the This Is Me number two, Happy. So I feel like this is really a pretty pink shade. I'm thinking if I want to keep it or not, but I will see which shades I, st I will still have. And if I don't have something like this, I might keep it. So this is really a more pink, but more also with brown tones to it. That's why I really like it. It also fits my makeup today and yeah it really it's really a pretty color i love the formula so probably i might keep this but i will just first check which one i will keep but yeah this is a maybe and a good contender so it's just like a pretty everyday pink shade that it's not too bright nor too dark and yeah it's just it's just fits my skin tone and normally that looks that i also go so for, the so yeah. next one is the catrice velvet matte cream in the shade hazel rose royce so this is a like a uh, pretty pink as well uh, this i feel like this is the liquid version of the um essence to to happy so i really really love this kind of pink i feel like i would use this if i want a pink lips that is not matte so i think i'm going to keep this and i feel the smell is a bit strong already i hope it's still good but maybe that's the smell of these lipsticks but yeah i'm a bit concerned and i will not give something that it's almost uh, expired so. it's really a really pretty pink as well this is the kind of pink i like like not too bright pink like baby pink just the right pinkness that 
I can wear and would love to wear. And the next shade is the Catrice Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade 070 from Rose With Love. So this shade is not my shade. I don't like how pink, it's almost like fuchsia pink, which I don't think it suits my skin tone. I don't like how bright it is. It really makes my, my lips look so big, which I don't like and I don't feel like this color complements me anything at all so and i would well, i don't think i will ever use this so this will be a declutter i don't like how it looks on me and yeah it's just the this kind of pink i feel like doesn't suit me at all the so. next lipstick is from milani the color stain lipstick in the shades 80 match with me so if you haven't tried any um, Milani lipstick yet you should really try it there the one of the best or if not the best yeah one of the best formula I've tried and yeah this shade is really a pretty darkish pink kind of shade which I love and my my friend is darker than me and it really looks good on her it looks it's like a great new lipstick for her and yeah I love how this shade i will surely keep this this is really a pretty pinkish brown with more into the violet or lilac side so this is really a lipstick i would you will want to use and will use uh, a lot so yeah i really love this shade and i highly recommend melanie lipsticks in general because they are one of the best I've tried. And the next shade is from Innisfree Cotton Vivid Ink in number 3. So I'm really surprised because I think I only worn this second time today. And I never, I think I only used it while reviewing it. So, but now I, as I, I was applying it, at first I thought I would declutter it, but on my lips it really looks pretty. So this is really like um really smooth thing i really love the cot cotton vivid ink formula and now i know why and really looks so light on my lips it just feels nice so the color is really a nice kind of pink for me because it's not a bright pink so i will certainly keep this because it really looks good on my lips and yeah too bad i didn't use this a lot so probably now i will grab for this because it's going to springtime now so I might try more pink lipsticks so yeah I can rotate other lipsticks because lipsticks because normally I only wear like MLBB type kind of shade so yeah this is surely a keep so and the next shade is still from Innisfree it's the number 11 and this is so beautiful <laughs> why I stopped using them this is really a pretty pink purple kind of combination and i would surely keep this this is really looks good on me i think this and the three if i put it in the center while using the three as the base it would really look like a pretty gray gradient kind of effect so yeah i will surely surely use this so and keep this this is really a perfect shade for me i feel like it suits my skin tone very well and yeah it's really just really a lovely shade from Innisfree last but definitely not the least and the most expensive is the Lisa Eldridge um Lisa Eldridge Velvet Beauty uh, Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Beauty so I tried to look for a dupe for this from all the lipsticks I reviewed even if I mix it together I cannot find it so it's really a special color kind of pink so i can find any dupe for this maybe in the future take by for me i might have a dupe but or maybe wait maybe the mac map because i think i mentioned that before yeah it's the mac map oh it's just a bit darker i will try to put it on later so you will see if they almost look the same but yeah so this is really a pretty shade like um yeah it's really a bright purple kind of shade that i thought i would not like but now having it on i really like how it looks so this is yeah it's really the best formula so it's a perfect matte i like how this matte 
looks it looks so pretty it's not like so drying on the lips it's not heavy on the lips it's just a perfect kind of matte i'm really a matte girl so this is really a plus for me and yeah i will truly enjoy this since i tried to like i want to really enjoy my collection and try to um yeah club declutter which shades i don't use much so i can enjoy the rest of my lipstick so, so yeah, now i have the matte in this side and the matte beauty from lisa aldridge so one swatch i thought they're almost the same but if you can see this the matte is really dark compared to this this is more like a bright pink so uh matte is not a dupe so yeah i prefer this than the matte i really don't like the matte and it's a bit too dark pink for me so yeah it's, i cannot find a dupe for this maybe in the future so we will see so i just decided to wear the matte beauty because that is my last um lipstick that i swatched so uh i kept I only got rid of three so I kept only eight eight two four six no seven is that right because I only have okay, because I only have 11 because I thought the other shade was pink so I only wait a two four six seven. I kept seven and I got rid of these three shades which is I thought I still kept a lot for a person like who does not really wear lipstick that much but i think i'm trying to tr i will try to more wear uh, to wear more pink lipsticks because um yeah i tried to avoid it but now as i i'm swatching and reviewing it now i i really like them so yeah that was my review and collection of my pink mauve lipsticks i hope it was helpful for you and yeah it was um you liked watching it so please if you like this video please give this a thumbs up and if you are new here i hope you consider subscribing to my channel and yeah i hope i'll see you in my next one bye